The historic incident on the island of O'Hara was the key for Monkey D. Dragon to form the organization we know as the Revolutionary Army. This is based on one of the leaked information in the latest chapter of the One Piece series. As you know, the Revolutionary Army is a group that is considered a serious threat by the world government. The Revolutionary Army is led by one of the most wanted criminals in the world of One Piece and is the father of the main protagonist, Monkey D. Dragon. Based on the available information, Dragon deliberately created the Revolutionary Army with the aim of freeing the world from the sorrow and oppression caused by the Celestial Dragons and the world government. Many One Piece fans were then curious about the beginning of the formation of the organization. They are curious what then triggers Dragon to form an army that is able to shake the whole world and even become a threat to the world government. And the latest leaked information for Chapter 1066 finally gives a clue as to why Dragon then formed the Revolutionary Army. But before we start this video, please smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and click notification bell, or you will miss future anime videos. In one of the leaked information for Chapter 1066, it was revealed that the O'Hara incident was most likely the beginning of the formation of the Revolutionary Army. The leak stated that Monkey D. Dragon was in O'Hara when a terrible incident on the island occurred 20 years ago. As the story shows, O'Hara became the target of the destruction of the world government. The world government deliberately obliterated the island and all its inhabitants. They did this because the residents of O'Hara ignored the prohibition against doing research on the Void Century. Afraid of their secret being exposed, the world government finally decided to destroy the island. In this event, it appears that only Nico Robin survived, thanks to Jaguar D. Saul, who saved her life. However, it turns out the fact is not only Robin who survived. Dragon was also aware of the incident, and was even there. At that time, Dragon was with Vegapunk. It is still unknown how Vegapunk and Dragon survived the event. However, one thing is certain, it is the moment that triggers Dragon's anger towards the Celestial Dragons, and that's also what made Dragon think of forming an army to overthrow their power. Dragon then took the initiative to form an organization that we know as the Revolutionary Army. And what's interesting is how this has actually been predicted by the fans for a long time. Based on the Vivre Car Data Book Volume 3, Oda Sensei gives us a hint on how the Revolutionary Army was formed. Based on these data, there was something or someone in the past 1924 years which then triggered the formation of this organization. In addition to Roger's death, the major event that occurred in that time span was the O'Hara incident. The fact that Dragon and Vegapunk were present at the time of the O'Hara incident is an interesting one. This means they have a fairly deep connection with the residents of O'Hara. Moreover, the information for Chapter 1066 also explains that Dragon and Vegapunk know the figure of Professor Clover who is an expert in the history of the Void Century and is also able to read Poneglyph. There are several possibilities that then arise from this surprising fact. First, it could be that Dragon actually has long hated the Celestial Dragons and the world government. In Vivre Card Data Book Volume 3, it is revealed that Dragon comes from Goa Kingdom and he knows how corrupt and destroyed the Celestial Dragons are. He is also trying to change the world in his own way. And to begin with, he gathered a lot of information which he did by going to O'Hara. Dragon seeks to learn all the secrets they hold, which he will then use to overthrow the power of the Celestial Dragons and the world government. Second, Dragon is likely one of the O'Hara scientists. How he got to know the figure of Professor Clover, and also Vegapunk is a clue that Dragon is an intelligent person. It could be that he is one of the researchers or scholars on the island of O'Hara who is researching Poneglyphs regarding the Void Century. This may be the reason why Dragon hates Celestial Dragons. The Revolutionary Army at first rarely appeared in the story in the One Piece series. They only appeared a few times in a short amount of time. However, towards the end of the series, Oda began to provide more portions for this group to emerge. And this is evident how the Revolutionary Army has started to often get involved in various stories. For example, in the Egghead arc where it is revealed that Dragon actually knows the figure of Vegapunk. 
This seems to give a hint that the Revolutionary Army will have an important role at the end of the series. And one of the things that might happen is how they will become one of the parties that help destroy the world government. They will join forces with the Straw Hat Pirates and their Grand Fleet to bring about new changes to the world. This will certainly realize the dream of Dragon and the goal of the Revolutionary Army, which is to bring about a big change to the world. Also, don't forget to destroy all the oppression that the world government has been doing so far. Perhaps, we will see a collaboration between Dragon and Luffy, or even Garp, who will fight against Eam and Gorosei. We look forward to the continuation of the story in the next chapter.